Hey, you guys out there, Christina over here from the Glazer Tutoring Company. And today we have beautiful polynomials and all we got to do is find out that product. Now, product is the fancy word for saying, let's multiply, right? Product is always a multiplication. And if we look into this problem, I have two parentheses and they're being multiplied by each other. So that's the product. Now, in this case, we have or we can say in one corner, we have 14 C squared plus four C, and we must multiply that with two C squared minus three C. Okay, well, how do you do that? Now there's tons of methods out there, there's acronyms, um, but you know, since we wanna be adept with finding out how to multiply, we don't need no acronyms, right? All we gotta do is just be fair. We just gotta be fair. You're going to hear me say that 15 million times in this video, but I promise repetition is key. So the theme of this video is fairness. We gotta be fair. And you're going to see exactly what I mean in two seconds. Now, what do I mean? Well, we have this one parentheses. We got two things inside the parentheses and we must multiply it with another parentheses. So all we're going to be doing is the heavy lifting on the first parenthesis. You put all your emphasis on the first parenthesis and you just gotta be fair. So, and you know, systematize it, right? Start with the first uh, variable in the, in the first parenthesis and then work, you know, make your way through that parenthesis. So always start from left and, and keep going to the right. So here we go with the fairness, right? In idea, right, because we're multiplying, Technically, we want to multiply 14c squared by this other parenthesis. We don't want to multiply it by the 4c because inside the parenthesis it says addition. So we're not going to multiply because we're literally adding those two together. So we will always multiply across the pond or across the parentheses, right? So we're going to take that 14c squared and multiply it by this first term, the 2c squared. But now the negative 3c, right? And this is a negative, right? Because there's a minus sign here, negative 3. The negative 3c is like, oh, I want to be multiplied too. So that's why you got to be fair. If you're going to take your 14c squared and multiply it by 2c squared, you must also take that term and multiply it with the other uh, part of that parenthesis. And that's where the fairness comes from. There's only two terms here. Everybody's being multiplied by 14c squared. So we're good to go for that term. Let's do the multiplication and then we'll come back to the next um, value in that parenthesis. So multiplying numbers is the same as you would, you know, all throughout algebra. So we have 14 times two, right? We'll do the first term here. We'll say 14 C squared times two C squared. So 14 times two is 28. So we got 28 and now you gotta be fair, right? <laughs> you gotta multiply the numbers and you gotta multiply the variables. But what does multiplying variables with exponents actually mean? Well, here's the fancy rule and it's not really that fancy. It's this right here which I'll post down here. That if you have variables, in this case, we got C values, but if you have variables that have exponents, all you're doing is you're, se you're secretly adding them together. So when you multiply your variable exponents, you secretly add them, okay? So that's the big rule for multiplying variable exponents. So in this case, I have C squared times by c squared. What am I gonna do with those two uh, numbers? We're gonna add them. So always addition, addition, addition. So in this case, we have two plus two is four. So now you got a total of four c's. So c to the fourth. Now let's be fair. We must multiply the 14 c squared by the negative three. So do numbers first and then your uh, variables. 14 times a negative 3, well, that's going to be a negative, so we'll put a negative here, and then 14 times 3 is what? Uh, 4 times 3 is 12, 3, so 42. 
So negative 42. And now let's use our property to do those variables. I have a two for my C squared. And now how many C's do I have here? One. So two plus one is a total of three. So I have three C's now. And notice how when I have different variable terms, I'm now writing it in different colors. This is gonna help you out a lot to visualize. And if you have different variables, right, with different degrees, you cannot add or subtract these. C to the fourths like to be C to the fourths. C to the threes like to be with C to the threes. Okay, we were fair with the first term. Now you move on. So now we're gonna focus all of our attention on this positive for C. And we must do the same exact thing, because we gotta be fair, <laughs> with the other one, right? So we're gonna take that positive 4C and multiply it by 2C squared. But what is the negative 3C gonna say? <laughs> I wanna be multiplied too. <laughs> ah, so the, the 4C says, okay, we gotta do that, because we must be fair. All right, let's go for it. Do your numbers first. So positive four times two, that's an eight. So we'll say plus eight. And now let's do our variables. I have a c to the first times a c to the second. One plus two is, you're right, c to the three. And notice how I both drew it in blue because c to the threes like to go with c to the threes. Let's do our last multiplication, because we got to be fair. So we got um, 4C, so 4 times a negative 3 is a negative 12. And the, oh, oh boy. And then do your variables. I have C times C. 1C, right, C to the first, C to the first. 1 plus 1 is 2, so C squared. Now all we got to do is just clean this up, and we clean it up by adding and subtracting. And you can only add and subtract the numbers that have the same variables, aka the same colors. So for 28c to the fourth, I can't really do much with that. So I'm just going to rewrite that. But now I'm just going to do a little math here. And just keep in mind that now if you're adding and subtracting, you do not do anything with those variables. They will stay exactly the same. All you're doing is just using your math with your numbers. So negative 42 plus 8. So definitely a negative. And let's see. 2, 4, what is that? 30, 34? Negative 34. I'm just going to triple check on that. That's a 2. Yeah, that makes sense. And now we're just going to put C cubed, or C to the third. So this and this came together to make this number. And now we just only have one red term. It's a C squared, so I can't really do anything with that. And that's it. We got one color a piece, so I can't simplify anything else at the, you know, at the moment unless we're pulling, you know, like terms out, but I wouldn't even worry about that. This is what's the proper answer. Okay, what'd you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so, so much for viewing the video. And I hope you guys are having a great day out there. Keep studying hard. I'm always rooting for you guys. Good luck on your tests and quizzes. And just as a reminder, you gotta be fair. <laughs> All right, so if you're on the playlist and you keep doing math problems, I'll see you in the next video. All right, I love to help you guys out. My brother and I, we really do appreciate all you guys. Thank you so much. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.